This is Twit. My favorite browser stumbled a little bit last week. Uh, the good news is that zero days in Firefox have been extremely rare. Maybe that's because it's not as big a target as Chrome and Microsoft's browsers. Uh, but the most recent previous Firefox zero day was more than three and a half years ago, whereas we're pretty much covering zero days in other browsers, you know, <laughs> as often as not. Um, uh, that one back in December of 2016 fixed a flaw that was at the time being abused to expose and de-anonymize users of the Firefox-derived Tor browser. Um, but the bad news in this case, as I said at the top of the show, was that there were two zero days being paired, which were discovered being actively exploited against employees at Coinbase, the cryptocurrency exchange. And, and actually, they have evidence now of it being used against others as well. Philip Martin who is a member of the Coinbase security team, reported the attacks to Mozilla. Um, and he said Monday a week ago, so Monday the 17th, he said on Monday, Coinbase detected and blocked an attempt by an attacker to leverage the reported zero day along with a separate zero day sandbox escape to target Coinbase employees. And as I mentioned, what's, a little disturbing is that Mozilla had been privately informed about this uh, a full two months before, on April 18th, when uh, Samuel Grobe, uh, a security researcher with Google's Project Zero, said that he reported this first of the two zero days um, and apparently Mozilla didn't do anything about it. So it's when the Coinbase team reported the same bug being used in the attack against them that Mozilla said, whoops, and immediately pushed out a fix. We're at uh, 60, uh, Firefox 67.0.4, and that's after two updates. They did one for each zero day because they also only did, they only updated them individually. So th the problem was on 67.0.2 and earlier. They fixed the first zero day by going to 67.0.3, <coughs> excuse me, and then the second zero day by going to 67.0.4. So um, uh, uh, Philip said, uh, we walked back the entire attack, that is, after they realized what was going on and, and, and caught it. Um, they, uh, he said that uh, if successful, the attackers could have gained access to their backend network and used this access to steal funds from the exchange, which is, of course, an outcome that we've been seeing recently because there have been lots of losses suffered by various cryptocurrency exchanges. Once again, this kind of comes back to our noting that it seems to, now it's gotten to be all about money these days. He said, we walked back the entire attack, recovered and reported the zero data Firefox, pulled apart the malware and the infrastructure it was using for the attack. He said, we're working with various organizations to continue burning down, he wrote, the attacker's infrastructure and digging into the attacker involved. He wrote, we've seen no evidence of exploitation targeting customers. Uh, and he also added that other cryptocurrency linked organizations have been targeted by the same group and they are being notified. So the outcome was all good. What's again, disturbing is that for, I don't understand why Mozilla didn't jump on the report of a zero day mid April which would presumably have prevented this from happening because this required the the combined use of two zero day exploits. But for whatever reason, uh, it's fixed now. Uh, and so we are all at 67.0.4 uh, and not subject to those targeted it, attacks. It sounds like the attack, maybe you know more detail, 
primarily was able to get the uh, browser pass the password stored within the browser. That's correct. Yes. So, so that's a great were, attack, but it's a great reason. I, I, I mean, I would, I'm sure you agree, never use the browser as a password manager. 